Welcome to this video on SAP CRM One Order Framework Overview. If you like this video and find it helpful, please do click on the like button and subscribe and also share this with your friends and acquaintances. Now let's get on to the One Order Framework. For those of us who are coming from SAP ECC, we know that to create sales orders and to create purchase orders and to create various different types of objects in the ECC system, there are different T codes that we use. For example, to create sales orders or to handle and process sales orders, we use VA01 for display, VA02, VA01 for create, VA02 for change, and VA03 for display. But for purchase orders, the transaction codes change completely. We use ME21N, ME22N, and ME23N. Similarly, also for the tables, for sales orders, we use tables like VBAP and VBAK, but for purchase orders, the tables change again. We use EKKO or EKPO. Now, in contrast to that concept and that setup of data in the ECC system, what is one order framework? It is a framework to handle processing of all CRM documents and transactions. There is a single framework in place which is going to handle and process all the various different types of CRM transactions such as opportunities, leads, quotations, uh, sales orders, service contracts and all of that. So all of them, all of this data has a common structure and there is a single transaction code that is used in the CRM system to create all of these business transactions and that is the CRMD order. And also we use the same BDOC function modules and module pool programmings for handling these transaction data. What are the advantages of using the one order framework? Like I said, since all of these business objects are using the same function modules and the same uh, structure to handle the data, the programming flow and logic is consistent and it also makes the objects reusable. And this in turn helps to avoid the creation of large reports and module pools. Also, the inbuilt programs that we have, the inbuilt function modules that is present in the CRM one order framework has robust error handling and exception handling. And because of all this consistency in every single transaction object, business object in the CRM system, the logic is very simple. For one order framework, there is a one order layer model. It is a model consisting of four layers. Each layer has separate data stored in the local, local memory and each layer is accessed via interfaces. The entire setup of the CRM data model can be viewed in the transaction code SD11. What are these four layers? First layer on top is the user interface which displays the fields of the UI and then is the interaction layer which controls the business transaction processes and links with the user interface. Next is the object layer which actually contains the various application and business logic used for editing, changing an object like adding items, determining pricing, etc. At the bottom is the database layer. It is used to perform all the various database operations, popularly known as CRUD or CRUD operations, read, write, create, delete, change, update, for every single CRM object. And before an object changes are saved in the database, it is also stored in the local memory of the database layer as a buffer. So here's a pictorial representation of the different layers of CRM system and how they are interacting. On top we have the user interface layer which is interacting with the interaction layer and then it is coming and interacting with the object layer. The object layer has two different uh, modules, function modules that we are going to discuss later which is the OW module which stores the business logic and OB module which stores the mod data which has been modified in the buffer. Object layer in turn interacts with the database layer to store the data into the database. And separately, we also have CRM customizing. CRM customizing is customizing data which is stored in the SPRO transaction code of CRM. And that also interacts with the database and with the object layer. 
CRM is a very consistent system because of the one order framework and naming convention plays a big part of that. So it has a common naming convention for all its reports and function modules and the naming convention is component underscore object name underscore method underscore layer. So for example in the CRM is a component order ADMI which is the administration items of a business transaction order ADMI is the object name read is the method that we are going to perform on that object and layer is OB similarly we have CRM order ADMI save is the method and the layer is DB database and OB is the object layer so here is a chart for identifying the function modules and in which layer they are acting on. So on the first column on the left we will see the function module name and if it is ending with any one of these uh, abbreviations then we can easily identify which layer it is acting on and what is the function of that program or function module. So for example if the function module is ending with DU we know that it is acting on the database layer and it implements a database update. Similarly, two very popular ones are the OW and OB, which is used rampantly in programming, which is the OW is the object area, which contains current data, which is being processed by the program. And object buffer is for OB, which is the current data in the buffer of the object layer. Like that, we also have DB for database buffer and event callback EC, which is also very popularly used and it has a lot of implementation in real world programming. In the CRM one order framework, there are a few function modules which form the core of the one order framework. These function modules perform the very basic operations of read, update, delete and save. So three of the main function modules are CRM order read for reading all business transactions, CRM order maintain, and CRM order save. All of these three uh, function modules act on all the various different business transactions. That is what makes the program flow very consistent and simple to understand. CRM order read. In this function module, we can use this to retrieve the data of any business transaction based on header GUID, item GUID or both. Now GUID is a unique identifier of any CRM table. GUID has a full form of graphical user interface ID. It is a 16 digit hexadecimal character code and every CRM table has this GUID as the key of the table. Using this GUID either at on a header level table or an item level table, we can read the data of the business transaction and use it to manipulate whatever information that we require. CRM order read takes IT underscore requested underscore objects as a importing parameter. In this structure, it is used to pass in only the object names that we require for data retrieval. CRM has a lot of business objects such as status, header, opportunity, pricing, billing, but if we only need a few of these objects for our program, then we are going to pass those object names in IT requested objects. This makes our programming more robust. And all of these function modules also have a counterpart report of having the same name. In this report, we can test the functionality of the function module. CRM order maintain updates data into a one order transaction. Within CRM order maintain, for each of the objects such as status, pricing, shipping, billing, etc., a function module is called to maintain the data. So first, we call the CRM order maintain and in CRM order maintain, we'll call the CRM order multi OW. This acts on the object layer and is used for updating the object work area of the business objects. And then from multi OW, we will contact the single OW for each individual object updation. 
and then finally it is going to call the header and item function modules and maintain data for each separate object for example crm underscore status underscore maintain underscore ow this is going to change the data for status related fields in a business transaction like that we have the same sort of uh, function module for pricing for billing for partner and all of the other CRM objects CRM module save this function module persists the changes to a document and saves it to a database the latest call in order to prepare the document for saving should be done in the order save body using the OB function modules modify to specific segments finally the update calls commit the data to the database using the following FMs order ADMH update and order ADMI update DU. So this acts on the database update level on the database layer. Once order save is called, we must always commit the data so that it finally gets stored into the data database. Otherwise, it is going to remain in the buffer level of the database layer. These are some of the common business transaction reports. We have CRM order read for reading all the data, CRM underscore bupa star for all the business partner related uh, reports, CRM underscore activity star for all the activity business transaction related reports, and similarly for billing, order, and last one, CRM underscore ARC star is for archiving related reports. Here is an example of a table relationship in the SAP CRM system. Uh, this is just one part of the vast number of tables that are present in the CRM system. So here we are going to link the business partner related tables to the contract related tables. At the heart of the business partner related tables is a table called boot knot. This table stores all the general data for a business partner and it links with other tables such as boot 50, boot 51 and boot 20 which store the relationships and the addresses. And boot 20 also uh, gets linked to all the address related master data tables. And BNKA stores the bank related data. So boot not is a master data table which links to the CRMD order index. This index is going to con contain the contract object type. The contract object type can be customized in the SAP customizing in SPRO. So once we are linking these two, we automatically have access to CRMD order ADM H and CRMD customer H. These are the header level transaction data tables to store the header level order data in order ADM H and customer header data for customer H. Similarly, header tables will be connected to the item table and uh, header customer H table will be connected to the item customer H. And these two item tables will also be connected via the quids. CRMD order index also connects to the process type table and CRMD link table. CRMD link table will in turn connect other objects such as status and dates with the CRMD order. This is one sort of connection that we can make with using the SAP CRM tables and the concept of quid. This slide shows a chart of the most commonly used tables in one order framework. I will not be going over them individually, but you can always refer back if you are looking for some particular table that you need to draw data from. And this slide shows the CRM master data tables that are very important and contains all the basic master data that is updated in the system. That is all for today. Hope you've enjoyed this presentation. See you all in the next one.